It's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. You know who you with, your boy Reese in the middays. We got another legend in here, yo. 2020 has been crazy for me already. Uh, this is what I like to do. I like to give the biggest intro ever when I'm talking to bring the guys who, who have real stake in the game. So, oh, Jada, we're going to attempt to give you the biggest intro ever. You let me know if I get this one off, all right? All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right, Mr. Kiss You Now, You Die Now, F Later. Reigning king of the punchline since 1994. One third of the most notable hip hop groups of all time. 26 plus years in the game and still has it in a game that usually has a shelf life of two singles. And you're still one of the most sought after features to this day. The man who created the soundtrack did one of the sickest Iverson moves and one type moves ever. He did real songs with big, not made up shits. The man who did it with the goats, who writes his own quotes, J A D A. K I double S J the kiss in the building. Hell of an intro. Let's go. Let me drop a bomb for that. I gotta, drop, I gotta drop a bomb for my own work. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Let's get mean, all the way into it. That was it. a mean one. It was, it was all true. It's all true. Yeah, we can't we can't front with the ghost. Now listen, man. This this uh, Ignatius. Wow. Thirteen songs. Good looking. I wanted more. Yeah, but that was good. It, you know, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a spoon feed. Well, that was a tablespoon. It wasn't. A, that was a big ass spoon. Yeah, big spoon. Yeah. You know, keep you one more. <laughs> Gotta keep you one more. Hey man, thirteen songs, very melodic. Uh, we saw the range. You you gotta excuse me. Like I've I've been waiting to do this interview since two thousand and one. Uh, appreciate. So we're gonna it. jump around a little bit. No doubt. That's cool. No doubt. All right, we're we good. talking. Let's get it. Good money. Man. Um, we got a glimpse of the range a while back on that Rough Riders album, the joint compilation where you were singing Holiday. On that holiday style song. Yeah. And now you really gave us vocals on this, man. The two chains joint, I heard you harmonizing a little bit. Yeah, shout out to my man Chris Streets. Vocal coach on that joint. I also he he did that joint and made me um him and Poops helped me with with doing my vocals. Gotcha. Now you I always think I could do it, but they like, you know, you got it. You got it. Now, you always had the bars, but now we're hearing these vocals a little bit. You're just not going to save no room for nobody else. That's what yeah, you're doing? No. You let everybody else do it. Let me come do it. <laughs> let me clean up a little. Clean. He's saying clean <laughs> up. Uh, how you link up with, with 2 Chains on that? Chains been my guy from way back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know. Got you. Was y'all in the studio just together? phone call. Phone call. Nah, I think he was out west. Okay. You know him. He was on. He was calling and texting, and you know, make sure he received it. And um, that song is crazy because the one, the version I sent him was the wrong version. Mm. That wasn't the one with me on the hook. Oh, okay. But his verse nailed the hook. Perfect. Yeah. So I just left it. It's you know supposed I mean? to be. Yeah. It's supposed to be right now. You know the voice. So JD Kiss in the building right now. We chopping it up about Ignatius. Uh, obviously, this album is, is is about like dedicated to. Your late great homie. Yeah, Ice Pick J forever. Right. Started off as your jeweler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started off as the jeweler, black man jeweler in the Mark 125. Then he started working with Rough Riders. Mm. Then um, when D had the accident and Rough Riders kind of went down a little bit, I hired him to work with me. And he worked with me for like the past 15 years or so. Right, and was going hard ever, ever, ever since. He kind of inspired you to, to to use them vocals a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He always wanted me to use my voice other than just rap. Mm. So you know, we tried it out. Got you, man. With the, with the Sound melodic, dope. <laughs> the the melodies on this on this, I seen like a lot of live instruments, a lot of, of real music, quote unquote. Yeah, man. that was another thing that he insisted. You know, he all he was always on me about doing it, and I never really did it while mm -hmm. he was alive but um that's one of the things i wanted to do gotcha. one of the things he always asked me to do that i wanted to complete mm. the mission with this project um by doing it definitely hit it out the park on on a few songs that we heard now i, I see my guy bart in the building man i i, I see he, he shot you alive on that b michael cox joint yeah yeah he was able to reach b cox and get that that track for me um that's the luxury of having people in other other cities you know what i mean yeah well being I mean, plugged in in different cities and being able to get things done 
Got you. Jada, right now, we, we kicking it right now, Hot 107.9, um, talking about this new album. It's 13 songs. Um, Man, I had to, I had the pleasure of having Fab in here not too long ago, too. And he was yeah, telling my brother, man, come on, man. Uh, man, we talked about the Freddie vs. Jason a little bit. Talked about how, how dope it was working with you on that whole album, man. How was that experience for you? It was dope. Um, we did some in his studio, mm -hmm. some in my studio, some in uh, Miami. Mm -hmm. um, it was dope. It was cool. Yeah. You know I mean, the whole process was really, really cool. Right, right, right. And me, I me, me, me and Fab is, we got tighter. We got tighter off the Freddie Jason. Right. Um, just the run of the shows and making the album, we, we became tighter. That's my that's my bro right there. As a lick, we we expect a part two anytime? Definitely. We're not going to tell you when, but we definitely <laughs> going to do another one. That's all we need. We just need a little hope, bro. <laughs> All right, man, we kicking it with Jada. You you doing a, like a press run, so obviously different things are popping up about you. We seen, too, you was on Tips Expeditiously podcast. Yeah. He was talking about you like the boogie a little bit, so what's Jada's dance, man? You got the two-step, like what is it? Yeah, nah, I could do it all. Two-step, break dance, Vogue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let me find got, out Jada I pop got, blocking, bro. I give you all that, man. There's nothing I can't do. Billy Rock. Know what I'm saying? I got I'm work, I gotta learn rest in peace pop smoke. I gotta learn that one. Man. I gotta learn how to get my, my woo ain't right right. Now. <laughs> Mine neither. I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> I get practice working on my woo, and my bop. That's all. That's but, uh, all. That's the only thing I'm missing right now. Other than that, I got all the other stuff. I got hill talk. There's nothing I. Yeah, I, I got the hill. My my hill toe. Yeah, we gonna have a hill toe battle after this. You know man. We got Jada kiss in the building. Did you? Yeah, your daughter just got a, a permit. She she probably around the same age as my one of my daughters. So okay. did they put like she put you on TikTok and all that? She, she knows you got phone. the moves. Whenever I, whenever she get a chance, she grabs my phone and just goes ham. With me. So <laughs> she put me on everything. She records herself. She just goes ham. So I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. I love it, man. We talking to a legend in the game. I don't use that term lightly at all. I also saw you being a part of Kanye Sunday Service, man. How was that for you? Amazing. Mm. Um, Styles had told me to check it out because he got an opportunity to check it out. Yeah. You know, early when he when Ye first started doing it, but um, yeah, down in Miami for Super Bowl, mm. I was able to go. It was dope, super dope. It Word. was incredible. It was really more than I expected. It was, it was dope. That's what's so, up. I mean, and um, it was a good balance of preaching the word, mm -hmm. along with you know the chorus. I mean, the choir singing some mm -hmm. good songs and remaking some songs over the gospel, in in a gospel version. Yeah. But um. It was dope. It was dope. That's what sucks. I know a lot of people was like up and down about it, but once everybody I talked to that has went well, and been a part serious. of it. It's, it's just, yeah. see, it's really, it's really a church. Mm. You know, it's really like a Sunday service. It's really a concert. Mm. But it's they preaching the word and mm. they singing and getting everything, know, rejoicing. But it's super dope. Like right. and the mate, the songs they doing. Oh, some some is real rap. Street Hardcore records, rap, <laughs> that they flipping it with a gospel twist, and it's, it's dope though. Right, you can see how the two could this be. Rhyming, it's gospel, the bars, but they still like it's crazy. Like, it's crazy, yeah, it's, mm. it's dope. Man. You got to see it to really understand it, and that's what Styles was telling me. Like, nah, because Styles ain't a church, church dude. Yeah, he, he believes in you know what he believes in. What right. he believes in. But when he like kiss, go check it out. When mm. he checked it out, it was incredible. That's what's up. That's what's up. Right now, we kicking it with Jada Kiss, man. We talking about everything because I'm telling you, I've been waiting for this interview for a minute. So I'm <laughs> jumping around everything. a little. We talking about everything, man. Where the hell did you find Blanco at? Millie's? Yeah. Shout out to my brother, Seth Free, um, in the compound gallery. He had he, he discovered Millie's mm. some years back. And um, then we 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 went in on the So Raspy Compound partnership, and um, we've been working ever since. I so see. Millie's love working. Millie's love the culture. 
Shout out to Nino Man too. He love. I got artists that I got to kick out of the studio. Yeah. They like to work too much. You know what I mean? I need to tell them, go home, go have a drink, go, <laughs> go, go to the pool. Do go something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I got to kick them out. They want to, they love working and rapping and, right. you know, recording and creating. So that's a good problem. It sound like y'all. Yeah. Sound like y'all for real. It yeah. gotta give you that nostalgia back, man. It seems like uh they both was on the album on the same song also and they both had bars bar. Yeah. And I know for artists like you to find a, another artist with that type of lyrical prowess, like that's gotta make you feel good, like it's still here, it's still going. Yeah, yeah. It's out there. We just got it's just it's just coming back slowly. Mm -hmm. I mean the balance is a little off, but be all right. Right. And I, culture. I we for the culture. Gotta be, and I appreciate you dropping this album, especially with all this coronavirus. Everybody gonna be in the house. We needed something to listen to. Listen Thank to, you, brother. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you did your up. part for society, man. I just want you to know that. <laughs> uh, man, I heard you got something to do with this Junior Mafia uh, coming back together, too. Little something, little something. Um, you know, I just felt that I owed, I felt like Big wasn't happy up there mm. with all of the turmoil and tension between right. them. So, as my duty, I wanted to, if I could, at least try yeah. to get them back together on one page and, mm -hmm. you know, back working and hitting the road and hitting the studio. So I kept C's with me. I still keep them with me. It's right. Just, I just kept bringing them Bring around them slowly. Yeah. yeah. Getting them around Kendra. Right. So eventually she was right. ready to, like, you know, let her guards down and, 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 and express how she felt all them years and get the thing back rolling. And now, you know, it's all love. It's about to go on tour and get it back cracking. Right. I know B.I. is smiling now. Right, he is, you man. Know, I ain't going on no media outlets and saying <laughs> I was the one who did it. Nah, you just, you, you, it, you, it, it, it was the Lord, actually. It had nothing right. to do with me, but I, I know I always was trying. Yeah. I'm good with that. As long as they got back together, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? You ain't got to give me no credit. Diplomatic kiss. That's what I'm calling yeah. from now on. So they, now whoever the next president is, well, we got a problem with another country. We sending you, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Now now we see you You on social media a lot. I love that. Uh, I know before I would have been real worried with y'all on social media because y'all had some, some like, some legendary beefs, right? Yeah. Like, like, I'm sorry, like with state property and all that. But with those... Y'all was like real dudes. So I know if y'all would've ended up clashing, it would've been an issue. I'm glad to see all of that was behind everybody years yeah, ago. Yeah, but I'm just saying like, yeah, like. Brothers, my brothers. And I'm so glad y'all did because y'all made some some historical music after those, after all that. Mm -hmm. So man, I, I really I really need you and Beans to do just one more. Yeah, no, we got, we working. This is me personally asking. We working, we got some. On behalf of everybody that's fans of y'all. We got some. Okay. Y'all heard it here first. That's, nobody else brought that up. Nobody else go do it. This is me. All right, I'm going to take that. Jada, I got fast five questions. I'm going to let you go because I know uh, I, we did provide you breakfast because I, I heard that was an Definitely, issue. Definitely. You know, I've I, I been watching me real carefully, I see. They didn't right. want me to be hungry. They came, I came, they had the catered breakfast, slamming, smoking, still hot. You know what I mean? I respect that. It is. We got uh, fast five questions. Um, you got to answer these questions as quick as you can. You always been quick on your feet, so this should not be a problem. All right, you got to make an album. You can only get five features. Who do you pick? Locks, DMX, Nas, mm. Mm. Fab. Mm. Why is Listen, there we go. Listen, we, we don't need nobody to see the hooks because we found out you can see the hooks. I need that album whenever it's dropping. Oh, <laughs> you got to pick three movies or TV shows. What would it be? It's going to be a lot of people in the house, man. They need your picks. Three movies or three TV? Yeah, three. It could be a mix of two, either one. I need sports in it. Okay. Cause you still making your picks. Yeah. You've been seeing that. I need Netflix. Are you cheating, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he's cheating. <laughs> he's he's found a way to beat the system, bro. Yeah. I need Netflix. 
That's it. All right, what's the fire stick? Fire stick. Way, way, to, way to beat the system, yeah, bro. Fire stick. He's found a way around the Fast Five. All right, what's your hardest verse in your opinion? Your hardest verse in your opinion. That's the one I can never answer. I don't Can't? Yeah. Probably the last one you wrote. All right, what do you tell Jada in the locks the day before you sign your first major deal? Don't you could sign go back. that. Shit. <laughs> Stop. Force it along. The same thing Joe Clark said. Cold 10. <laughs> <laughs> Lock on the doors, code 10. <laughs> nah, um, just a learning game. You know what I mean? I would tell the young Jay, the young locks, push, pump your brakes a little. Y'all waited long enough. Just wait, give it another six months or a year and learn, learn more about the contract, business. Contractually, what you're getting into. Got you. Got it. A lot of artists need to take heed to that yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artists, we gotta, we gotta stick together. You know, we can't form a union because they're going to kill somebody or they're going to give us all fed cases. Mm. So that's out of the question. But y'all started and I'll come after the, <laughs> after the danger's over. Right. But we got to learn. If we don't learn, we're going to keep going through the same thing. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. Business is business at the end of the day. Once you sign something, nobody got to renegotiate to the, to the contract is up or so they ready to. So right. you, know, you gotta all, always know that business is business. Never mix your personal life with your business. Mm. And you don't get what you ask for, you get what you negotiate. Love it. That sounds like a, a, a book. 